solve some problems based on Henderson equation. The pH of blood stream is maintained by a proper balance of H2CO3 and sodium bicarbonate concentration. What volume of point, uh, what volume of 5 molarity sodium bicarbonate solution should be mixed with 10 ml sample of blood which is 2 molar in H2CO3 in order to maintain a pH of 7.4. So here K is given for this acid that is 7 point something is given here. So we have to find the that is a uh, volume of point uh, volume of 5 molarity of sodium bicarbonate okay so that the ph will become uh, so that will be, be ph will be same ph should be same but volume we are changing it okay so ph and pk is same but uh, in salt we have to change this thing so again use the henderson equation so henderson equation is ph is equal for acid so pka uh, plus log of concentration of salt by concentration of acid this is the Henderson equation. So again in this equations, so we have given uh, what is the concentration of salt? Concentration of salt is nothing but the sodium uh, bicarbonate. So this is nothing. So we have to write here 5 plus V into V plus 10. Okay, so we are adding here V ml of solution. So here in 5, we have to add V volume and here V plus 10. So whatever V you will add, you have to write here V plus 10. So again for acid, you will take acid, acid means bicarbonate, so, so, so a carbonic acid. So here again, uh, most will be your 2 into 10, this is the most and we are adding V plus 10 ml of solution. So this is given here, uh, concentration acid here. So we will put this two value, 2 into 10 and V plus 10. So using this value over here, we can say pH they are given 7.4 and here uh, pK is given here, 7.10 to the power minus 7. So right here, minus log of 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 so this will be your plus log of salt by acid so log of salt is uh, 5 plus v uh, divided by v plus 10 and divided by here 2 into 10 2 into 10 divided by v plus 10 so this will be cancelled so this will remain here so on solving this so we will get here v is equal to 78.36 ml so this is our answer this is v so v is equal to this much is our answer So now next is uh, calculate the ammonia and ammonium chloride required to prepare a buffer solution of pH equal to 9. So when total concentration of buffering agent is 0.6 molar per liter. So after uh, we have to um, know the amount of ammonia and ammonium chloride. Okay, and pH they have given and total solution concentration of buffering agent is also again 0.6 molar per liter. So according to the equation, so we can write here this is the uh, basic buffer ammonia is given. So this is a basic buffer. So basic buffer. Of one, this is one. Uh, one solution is the one buffer is there. So write the POH is equal to minus log of KB uh, divided by uh, log of salt by base. Salt by base. So here POH. So POH we see is given here. So what is the POH? So pH is nine. pH is nine. So POH will be how much? That is a 5. So we can write here 5 and minus KB. So KB they have given here 4.7 and plus log of salt by base. So let us take here. So again you take here salt is suppose A. So salt is suppose A and B is support base. So base is B. So here we can write here in this equation using these two, two values. So 5 is equal to 4.7 plus log of a by b so again a plus b is equal to 6 a plus b this is one equation a plus b is equal to 6 so they have given a concentration of 6 molarity so this is your 6 molarity concentration so concentration this is, this is given so on solving 1 and 2 so on solving 1 and 2 so this will uh, divide 5 minus 4.7 it will be 0.3 so on solving 1 and 2 so we will get here a is equal to A is equal to A plus B is equal. So on solve you solve it. So 5 minus 4.7 is equal to 0.3. So this is a log of A by so B. So A by B is nothing but A by B is nothing but the log 2 that is 2. 
So this is equal to a is equal to 2 into b. This is our equation, a is equal to 2 into b. So now we know the a also. So a is 0 0.60. So a, a is a plus b is 0.6. A is 2b. So we can write here 3b equal to 3b equal to 0.6. So this will be b will be how much? This is the 0.2 mole. So b is 0.2 mole. So a will be how much? So a will be your 0.4 mole. So a is given, b is given. So concentration of salt will be how much? So concentration of salt will be your 0.4 molarity. This is one equation. And concentration of base will be how much? So this will be your 0 0.2 molarity. So this is given here. So uh, second question over. So come to your third question. So what volume of sodium formate solutions uh, should be added to 50 ml of 0 0.05 molarity formic acid to produce a buffer solution of pH equal to 4? And pK of formic acid is 3.8. So sodium formate volume is given, molarity is given, volume is there finding, molarity is given. And it should be added in this formic acid. So it will become buffer solution which pH is 4. So very simple, this, is, this will be your acidic buffer. So for acidic buffer, pH is equal to pKa plus log of salt by AC. So this is our basically equation. So pH is given here 4, you can see here and minus log k so this is equal to nothing but the log k so k will be your 3.8 plus log of now salt is that so salt is given here 0 0.1 molarity so point here 0 0.1 into v okay and this will be your so volume will be same only you can see here so volume is same so there is no need of change in volume but downward volume will be how much so this will be your 2.5 so they have given 2.5 is also over there so how 2.5 so you can see here this 2.5 is coming 50 into 0 0.05 so this will give you 2.5 we put this value here so we know that we have to find this volume so this volume will come out automatically that is v is equal to 39.62 ml so this is the volume should be added to get this two buffer solution x and y uh, of uh, ph4 and 6 are respectively are prepared from acid ha and uh, salt H, uh, sodium uh, sodium a some is there sodium acetate something there. both of the buffers are 0 0.5 molarity in ha ha is the acidic solution so what would be the ph of the solution obtained by mixing equal volume of the two parts so volume if you mix equal to buffer so what will the ph of that so this is the question of ph of two buffer solution two buffer so we have to find the first concentration of salt in each case because that we don't know we know only acid so again so case one first year for first one so four is given ph equal four so minus log they have given here so minus log into 10 power minus 5 plus log concentration of salt we don't know you can see according so we don't know but concentration of acid given 0 0.5 so right here 0 0.5 so on solving concentration of salt will be how much so this will be 0 0.1 into 0 0.5 so this will be 0 0.05 molarity now for second case we see here so this is second case pH is given so minus log of same this will be your minus 5 plus again concentration of salt in this case we don't know so right here salt and concentration of AC is 0 0.5 so again here in case salt 1 right here salt 1 this salt 2 so again this is salt 2 will be how much this will be uh, 10 into 0 0.5 and you will get a 5 molarity now we'll mix these two acids so now the two buffer solution is mixed right here two buffer solution is mixed two buffer solution is mixed so if you mix this then what will happen so on mixing so on mixing the concentration of uh, sodium acid will be how much so this salt will be how much so we can write here so this will be your uh, 0 0.05 into V so we are adding this P volition and again 0.5 into so V so divided by 2 so volume is doubled so this will be how much this will be your 5.05 by 2 similarly acid will be how much acid will be so again acid is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 into V so a plus 0 0.5 into so V and divide by so this will be a 2 into V so this is 2V so on solving you will get here 0 0.5 molarity so there will be no change in the molarity now pH is equal to minus log of 10 per minus 5 this is given here plus salt we know that so salt is here again this is given here 5.05 into 2 so divided by 2 0.05 by 2 and here volume of the acid is 0.5 
so again we know what is the ph of the solution so on solving so 5.0.7033 so we will get answer 5.7033 so this is the ph of the solution so this is our answer the H plus in the point 2 molarity of formic acid is this is given 6.4 into 10 minus 3 mole per liter to this solution uh, formate is added so as to adjust the concentration of sodium formate to one molarity so what will be the pH of this solution so after adding sodium formate we have to find the pH of this solution so first we will find what is the alpha of this uh, acetic acid so point 2 molarity of formic acid ok so here H plus will be how much so H plus will be your C into alpha that is nothing but 6.4 into 10 power minus 3 so definitely alpha will be how much concentration given here this will be your 3.2 into 10 power minus 2 ok so here alpha we know that and formic acid is how much so here formic acid also given here this is 0.2 molarity so now we will go for salt so salt is nothing but the this is sodium formate so this will undergo dissociation this will give you uh, uh, formate plus sodium ion so initially concentration concentration before dissociation so before dissociation what will the concentration so this will be your one this is given here one molarity so one molarity is here so this will be zero zero so after concentration dissociation constant is 0.75 so here given 0.75 so right here 0 0.75 0 0.75 and this will be one minus zero percent per this is after dissociation so this is after dissociation so again we can write here concentration of format is how much the so concentration of format is will be your 0.75 so we know that this one this is equal to 0.75 now we can use the Henderson equation so pH is equal to uh, pKa plus log of salt by acid so again we know the salt so we know it so pH is uh, we have to find the pH is equal to minus log of 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 and plus log is equal to 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.2 so here pH will be definitely 4.19 on solving the equation so this is our answer 30 ml of solution weak base BOH titrated with 0.1 normal NCL solution the pH of the solution is found to be 10.04 and 9.14 after the uh, so after the addition of 5 ml and 20 ml of AC respectively so if you add 5 ml of acid so it will be 10.04 if you 20 ml acid it become 9.14 so find out the kb of the weak base so we need to find the so here will be two equation two stoichiometry so first you write the base so boh plus hcl it will give you bcl plus water so boh plus acid it will react with bcl plus water so here initial concentration how much initial concentration is here given suppose we have to take a and this will you nothing 0.1 into 5 this means 0 0.5 this will be 0 0 and this is after reaction so after reaction what is the concentration so this will be your 0 0.5 this will be 0 0.5 this will be because this is 5 is there and this will be your uh, 0 and this will be your a minus 0 0.5 so you can use the Henderson equation, Henderson equation means POH will be minus log of KB, KB we don't know, but concentration of salt plus base we don't very well. So concentration of salt is how much they have given, so again concentration of salt is here 0.5 and a concentration of acid is A minus 0 0.5 and POH is given here 3.96, so we know this one, this is the equation 1. Now case 2, so this is your case 1 first case we got this one kb second case again ph is changing uh, so again here second second case so right here boh plus hcl will give you hcl plus water so here millimole is how much so millimole is a and here millimole is uh, 0 0.1 into 20 so 0 0.1 into 20 it will be your 2 and this will be 0 0 so again this will be your after dissociation after dissociation will be uh, this will be how much this will be 2 is there so definitely this will be 2 this will be 2 and this will be your 0 and this will be your a minus 2 so again ph is how much ph they have given here 9.14 so ph is 9.14 so poh will be how much so poh will be your uh, 14 minus 9.14 so this will give you uh, 4.86 okay on solving it so write the Henderson equation so this equation write it so 4.86 is the pH but uh, log we don't know log KB we don't know and salt we know that is log, salt is log of 2 this is 2 and divide by A A minus 2 so 
2 is this one and a minus 2 is this one. So uh, log of salt by acid. So log of salt is HCl. This is the base. Yes, of course, this is your B HCl. Okay. So this is your given. So again, log B. So using this equation, equation 1 and 2 solving equation 1 and 2. So we will get here Kb is equal to 1.81 into 10 to the power minus 5. So this is our answer. Aqueous, calculate the pH of the aqueous solution of 1 molar uh, volatile ammonium format assuming complete dissociation. pKa of formic acid is given. So it is very easy. So pK is given. pKb of ammonia is also given. So we can find the pH of the aqueous solution. So write the equation of format. So HCOO. So NH4. So this is your ammonium format. So in react with the water. So they will give you uh, formic acid plus ammonia. So this is your formic acid plus ammonium hydroxide. Why hydroxide? This ammonia plus OH ammonium hydroxide and H will react with this one. So this is a formic acid. So now we have to find the pH. So this is pH of the weak acid and weak base. So pH of weak acid weak base is we know the formula that is log of uh, Kb minus log of Ka minus log of Kw. So this is the formula of the V has a B has a B A and KW. Okay, so B log B minus log K by KW. So here you write the value half equal to log K because this is independent concentration. So here PKA. So this will be your PKA plus PKW and minus PKB. Okay. So again half of this is 3.8 and PKW is 14 and this is PKB is 4.8. So again you will get value 6.5. So pH is equal to 6.5. So we should know that if the uh, reaction between acid and base it is independent of concentration, they directly react with their acid dissociation constant. So this is very important questions.